I'm going to hold on the tab and drag downwards. This way there's new window. And then I'm going to drag it this way so I can see my data. In this new window, I'm going to do Google Drawing. Let me give it a name. Let's call it Population 1. Remember that name. We're going to need it later. First, I would like the numbers here. I don't need the names of the states, I just need the numbers. I'm going to, so I just open a text box. This is for text box. I'm going to make and make the font bigger. Here's what I'm going to make. 0, 2, 5. See up top. Zero to five, five to ten, ten to fifteen, fifteen to twenty, twenty to twenty five, thirty to thirty five, four and thirty five to forty. There, those are going to be my buckets. Now, I want to make a tally system to see how many of each I have. Alabama is 4.78. That's between 0 and 5. I'm going to make a line here. Drag down here. I could scribble or I can make a line. So let me use the line. Okay, that's 1. Alaska. Is 0 to 0 0.71. Click the line again and add a 2 here. Arizona 6.39 is between 5 and 10. So I'm going to add a line between 5 and 10. Arkansas 2.92. That's going to go here. California 37.29, that goes between 35 and 40. Colorado, 5.03 goes here. Connecticut, 3.57 goes here, between 0 and 5. Delaware, 0 0.90. Delaware is one of the small states. Delaware is going to go here. Cross it out to show groups of five. Next, we have District of Columbia, Washington, D.C. D.C. stands for District of Columbia. We're going to add one to 0 0.5. The 0 0.6 goes between 0 and 5. Florida, the second biggest state we have here, 18.80. 18 goes between 15 and 20. Georgia goes between 9 and 10. 5 and 10, we put one here. Hawaii, 1 goes between 0 and 5. Add another one here. Idaho, another one here. Illinois, we're now up here, 12. 12 goes between 10 and 15. That's 1 here. Indiana goes here, between 5 and 10. Iowa, 3 goes over here. Kansas, 2 goes over here. Kentucky, 1 goes over here. 4. Maine, 1.33, goes here. Maryland, 5.77, we got one here. Massachusetts, we got one here. Michigan, we got one here. Because 9.88 is right before 10. Minnesota, 5.30, a little more than 5, one here. Mississippi, one here. It's 2.97 is there. Missouri, a little more than than 5, that's going to go here. So here's what I have. I've got 5, 10, 13 in the first category. I have 9 in the second category, 1 in the third, 1 in the fourth, 0 in those two, and 1 in the last one. 
Now I need to draw my axes. I'm going to draw a line here to be my x-axis. And there I'm going to put the numbers in. So let me draw another text box down here. Zero, space, space, space. Five, one, two, three, four, five spaces. Ten, fifteen, twenty. I'm going to space it out a little more. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. There's going to be a five. There's going to be a 10. And let me put a 15 over here. Sorry about the mess. Let me clean it up a little. There we go. Now, that's our 0, 5. We have 13, which is going to be a little bit above 10. To make it easier, I'm going to go to Shapes, Rectangle. Let me start here. Go a little bit above 10. Great. I like that fill color. I'm going to keep it. 5 to 10 is 9, so it's going to be a little bit less than 10. Ten to fifteen is one. So one is going to be real small. Another one over there. Fifteen to twenty is another one. Since twenty to twenty-five and twenty-five to thirty are blank. Thirty to thirty-five are also blank. Going to leave those blank. Thirty-five to forty. I have one. And that is how you do it. Now, now that I have my document, population one, let us go back here. To add the file, I'm now going to click where it says add file. My drive, remember we called it population one. Attach it. If I want to detach it, I can click that X. That is how you do it. <laughs>